What's up, guys? It is Brian here. Today, going to be doing the greatest 49ers seasons in franchise history. Last week, I did the video of the worst seasons in franchise history. So, if you want to watch that video, there's going to be a link in the card section. It's on the top right screen. So, I hope you guys click on that. And also, if you're new to this channel, please subscribe. Like if you enjoyed this video. That helps on a lot. Gets this channel noticed for all things 49er, Niner Faithful, Niner Empire, Niner Nation, whatever you guys want to call it. This whole fan base, I don't know exactly i just say whatever interchangeably enjoy it while you can but doing the video on the three greatest 49er seasons in franchise history this should be a fun ride a little bit of note these are mostly super bowl seasons but the one right now that i'm about to talk about is not a super bowl season because that would be pretty boring if i did that hope you guys enjoyed this and yeah let's just get to it the top three greatest 49er seasons in franchise history. Coming in at number three, I had the 2011 49ers. Now you're wondering, Brian, why would you put the 2011 49ers on this list? They didn't even make the Super Bowl in the first place. Well, Charlie, I'm going to tell you a reason why they should be the number three greatest team. One, I needed a modern team. I didn't want to put all 80s and 90s 49ers. That'd be kind of boring if I did that. And plus, I didn't want to put every single Super Bowl team. I could have just made a whole list on the top Super Bowl teams in history maybe that'll be for another list but right now I want to do this because of the way that Jim Harbaugh just turned his team so instantly from losers of the past eight years from 2003 to 2010 all the way to winners going 13 and 3 winning the NFC West and going to the NFC Championship game one Kyle Williams muff away from a Super Bowl this was just a fantastic season although they didn't have the best statistics in terms of third down conversions and everything else because they don't only 30 percent third down conversions in the regular season only 18 percent in the playoffs but still they found a way to win also this was the catch two or catch three I should say from Alex Smith to Vernon Davis, one of the greatest plays in 49er history folklore, which was freaking fantastic. And also, you have to mention, this is the NFL lockout season, so Jim Harbaugh did not have a lot of time to establish his culture, establish everything he needed for the season to start. And with the very short offseason, he was still able to make a fantastic change going 13-3. and Took the 49ers out of hell for the next two other years in 2012 when they made the Super Bowl, almost beating the Ravens, and in 2013 when they almost beat the Seattle Seahawks to make it to their second Super Bowl. So yeah, a little disappointed they didn't win the Super Bowl, but at the same time, just the way Jim Harbaugh was able to transform this team so instantly from college to NFL freaking amazing and he used the most out of his talent especially Alex Smith Alex Smith was struggling mightily for the past couple of years with all these offensive coordinator changes but with him and Greg Roman they did a fantastic job but just look at the talent on this roster wow freaking amazing also Vic Fangio got to give him credit for the defense they went from the average defense to a very very good defense and you got to credit the coaching staff just imagine the coaching staff is the biggest difference for any team and this proves it from Mike Singletary all the way to Jim Harbaugh Wow, fantastic. Coming in at number two, I had the 1984 49ers. Now, this team was just freaking on blast mode. And I mean that in a good way because they went 15-1, and one, an astounding 15-1. and one. I think that's the first time in NFL history a team has won 15 games. And I think this is the first team that's won 15 games in a regular season. Only lost one game to a very close Pittsburgh Steelers. Won the Super Bowl in pretty convincing fashion, I would say, against the Miami Dolphins and Dan Marino. You got to remember, Dan Marino. Marino was just lighting the NFL world on fire in his second season in the NFL. Made it all the way to the Super Bowl, but Joe Montana had to stop him in his way, and Dan Marino never got his Super Bowl that he rightfully deserves, but it's whatever. I can't really do anything about that. This team was freaking amazing. You had 10 Pro Bowlers during this whole season, 10 Pro Bowlers, and Joe Montana was named the MVP for the Super Bowl. The reason I put this at number two, one, they went 15-1. and one. And second, they defeated the Miami Dolphins, a very high-powered offense in pretty convincing fashion. I think the defense for the 49ers in general during this dynasty season always gets underrated. We always talk about the offense with Joe Montana, Jerry Rice, and what have you. Well, Jerry Rice wasn't even on this team, this 1984 squad. But we always talk about the offense, but we never give the defense enough credit for what they had. Led by Rodney Lott, Eric Wright, and Keenan Turner. Those guys, they led this defense into greatness. Rodney Lott is one tough SOB. Yes, he is. And I like to talk about him another time but right now I just want to talk about the 1984 49ers awesome Joe Montana had a great season dominated the Miami Dolphins going 15 and 1 I could really say anything else 
great season for the 49ers and one of the best in NFL history. Coming in at number one as the best 49er team in history for the 49ers, I'm going to be talking about the 1989 squad. But before I talk about them, I want to do some honorable mentions. I'm going to be naming all of the Super Bowls as the greatest team in 49er history. So the 1981 season, the 1988 season, and the 1994 season with Steve Young. I want to mention those real quick. I would put them at number three, any of them, but that'd be kind of boring because I didn't want to put top three Super Bowl seasons in 49er history. I'll probably do it for another time, but just want to talk about the greatest seasons, in my opinion, in terms of regular season and kind of postseason, but the 2011 49ers, I wanted to include them just because of the quick turnaround that Jim Harbaugh did, as mentioned before. So there you have it. Other teams that are mentioned right now for the honorable mentions, all those Super Bowl teams, they deserve it. But 1989, you want to talk about the 1984 49ers. This team was on steroids, especially in the postseason. They just absolutely dominated every single team. It's kind of sad because this was under Bill Walsh. This was under George Seifert. As much as I love some George Seifert, as much as I want to give him a lot of credit, this was Bill Walsh's team. Unfortunately, he wanted to leave. Couldn't really do anything there, but George Seifert got to give him some credit for leading this 49er team into dominance. I'm looking at the statistics and everything for Joe Montana in particular just absolute amazing 11 touchdowns no interceptions in the postseason I think the only other quarterback that's ever done that was Joe Flacco in 2012 which unfortunately he did beat the 49ers in that Super Bowl but anyway to the point Joe Montana had one of the greatest seasons in NFL history 26 touchdowns to eight interceptions a 70 percent completion which is very rare back in those days he had a passer rating of 112.4 pretty impressive there just the way they dominated the playoffs I can't really say anything else I mean look at the Minnesota Vikings 41-13 in the divisional playoffs the NFC championship game the Rams had no chance 30-3 and the Super Bowl absolutely no chance for the Denver Broncos to beat this 49ers squad they ended up winning 55-10 to yes you want to talk about the one that just happened a couple of years ago with the Broncos and Seahawks in 2013 43-8 this is 55 to 10. Remember, this is the, one of the most lopsided wins in Super Bowl history, and rightfully so. Joe Montana just dominated them. Jerry Rice, Ronnie Lott, every other player, Roger Craig. Ah, wow. Couldn't really say anything else there. And I think that's probably the reason why they're ranked higher than the 1984 49ers, just the way they dominated the playoffs. Although the 84 49ers did dominate the playoffs, and they did win more games by one, going 15 to 1. But I just feel like with this team. And I guess with George Seifert, I don't know if people thought they were going to dominate the way that they were back in those days to win this Super Bowl because of a brand new head coach. I mean, George Seifert was a defensive coordinator, but at the same time, this was a new coach. This wasn't under Bill Walsh or anything. So, oh, we just dominance. That's all I could say for the 1989 squad and every other team that I mentioned on this list. So, yeah, that's going to be pretty much it. You guys, please let me know what you guys think about the top teams in 49er history in terms of seasons and what have you. Please, I'd like to hear what you guys have to say. Comment below. And if you guys like this, please like, subscribe, do whatever you want with this. And I'll be catching you guys up another time. So, I hope you guys have a nice day, nice weekend, nice whatever. And I'll catch you guys up another time. Bye, guys. Love y'all.